women want choice and they want to be participants in their health care. And when you choose a midwife, we're there to obviously follow a standard of care that keeps moms and babies healthy and safe, but also make sure that that family are active participants and they, they help to make choices. Um, she helps you to relax and calm down and I am not very good at that. Um, she, I, I was freaking out probably <laughs> and she was just like, just trust me, like I'm, I know this will work and I was like, okay, let's do it. I think I was born a midwife actually. It's a soulful experience for me. Um, I knew I wanted to be a midwife very young. I remember stories um, from my grandmother in the Appalachian Mountains of Kentucky talking about granny midwives, where they just came over and assisted each other during their birth. Uh, she was pretty amazing, especially this last one. So he's about to be eight months, and, and I just remember her being like, you need to lay down because it's coming out and I was like hey, well we got a while like we're not ready for this and she's like it's happening so it was also a very very fast delivery so um, she was just super calming and she communicates with my husband so they have a relationship while I'm going through contractions she can voice what she thinks he can help with you know so it's a very open room Probably the biggest misconception is that all midwives come to your house and I'm obviously a hospital birth midwife and I also have full prescriptive authority so um, not every patient of mine chooses natural childbirth without medication. Some choose epidural. I remember her being the, like a voice of confidence that I needed. And she did it with such grace that it never felt like she was overpowering, but moving you towards uh, letting your miracle come out in the perfect way. And it's, it's breathtaking being in the room with her. So in my rooms, the lights are always low um, and the patient has a choice of music or not music, whatever they want. Um, I, I don't dress out, so I don't put on a hat and a mask and gown and everything. I put on basic protective equipment, you know, I do wear gloves and, and um, things like that, but it's, it's not the whole dress out. My rooms are very calm. This morning I, deli I, I caught a baby that was at 5.30 this morning and the nurses said it again, how calm the room was. Um, and the patient's families always comment on it as well. There's, there's a better relationship between obstetricians and midwives, and so that collaboration, it, you know, not every patient of mine can have a vaginal delivery, and I'm not a surgeon, so having that collaboration with a physician is really important and I'm super lucky here at Carmel because we have great physicians who really believe in midwifery and want us as team members and we work beautifully and collaboratively together.